fun day. So all if right. you want to see all this international talent, definitely come on through, and uh, we'll be happy to see you there. Yeah, it was good having you on stream. Yep. Yep. Oh. All right, so Scotty, get in there. there. Yeah, we are starting the match, and we are going off to a very, very explosive start from T right here. So care to introduce yourself, Scotty? Hi, I'm Scotty the Ghost, and oh, there's already a 67% on the screen. Yeah. Okay, so first time commentating Wednesday Night Fight, and they're just throwing me right into it. So right. T versus Nitro. This was a winner's match for Nitro 1-2-1, one, one, correct? Uh, was it T versus Nitro? Uh, it, yes, it was T versus Nitro. Did Nitro play Richter? Uh, you know what? If he's going Richter at this point, I'm pretty sure he played Richter. All right, so we'll see if Nitro can win again or if T can adapt and make it to the final. Oh, and there's the edge guard throwing out all the projectiles right here. And you know, T's just struggling to find his way in. You just see Nitro throwing out all those projectiles. And did you see how far he went on that upbeat? Oh wow. my god, that was, that was like completely diagonal. It's like the water came out and like, you know, like, wow, just gets sniped from across the stage with that holy water. He has the stock for now, however, forward throw, keeping him off the stage. He recovers high, doesn't want to get hit by any of those Richter infamous projectiles. I mean, I feel like this is a game of like, do you want the faster projectiles? And then with uh, Pac-Man, you know, all Pac-Man projectiles are like super quick, but they take a long time to charge. Or do you want like the more control and aerial space projectiles, like the Richter side B and the Richter uh, neutral B? Yeah, it'll definitely come down to who throws their <laughs> projectiles out better. T's looking really good so far. You know what? I like what uh, Nitro's doing. He's just kind of like sitting back and waiting for T to like throw out an option right here. And yet again, sneaking in that forward tail. And that's the thing. Cross, it takes three hits from the cross to uh, break Hydrant. So because it comes back on twice, uh, you can throw it out a forward tilt, and it'll hit the hydrant, and it'll drop the hydrant. Play. Oh, I never knew that. That's really good information for this matchup. So this is the first time I've seen this matchup. I mean, it's one of those matchups where I think Richter slightly wins, just because you know Pac-Man likes to you know control a lot of space below and like impress him, but he can't really do that with cross in the way. And, you know, if he jumps too heavily, then he just gets swarmed out by Ariel. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that was so smart, the way he Z-dropped that holy water into the forward smash. When you know how to combo with your opponent's moves, that's when you know the match. And, no, I love that tech chase, you no know, reading the roll away. Gets a little nice grab combo out of it, and you no know, Nitro trying to escape, but not quick enough to escape Team's onslaught. I think that's like a Galaga ship yep. that he throws out. Goes right through the holy water. Oh man, just to sneak back off stage. Unfortunately, gets hit by the the hydrant, and you know it gets thrown back off stage. But that's the other thing, you know, it's like T is gonna be struggling to like really get Belmont like off stage and go for that edge guard because you know he has to super time that hydrant really well if he wants to hit below on there. But even then, that's gonna be super hard to hit. At the same time, I'm not really sure if like he needs to edge guard Nitro in this matchup. I think uh, Pac-Man's tools will just allow him to just ledge trap. Richter just as efficient. Back throw won't do it just yet, but Nitro might already be thinking about a game two counter pick at this rate. He'll need to pull out something extra special if he wants to bring this game back. And yet again, he just does not expect the apple to come out at that angle. And you know, that apple is one of the best still for the Pac-Man's character. It just comes at that awkward, like, 45 downward degree angle. You and know, it kills, even though it doesn't look like it kills. You never expect it. Yeah. Most people expect the bell or the key, maybe even, you know, the Galaga ship to rack up present. You, right. you don't really expect the apple, but we saw it kill a uh, previous set on stream. I think it was versus Sue, and we just saw it kill again, so you, you have to watch out. Now, Nitro, I know he does have a Joker in his pocket, but it looks like he's going to... State Richter, he feels confident in this matchup, and he hopes to maybe even up the set in this next game. 
here we go. Uh, you know, it's just sitting content, staying in neutral like this, you know, kind of like walling out Pac-Man what he wants to do. Wait, oh, he doesn't no. have a jump and he's gone in less than 15 seconds. You know, that... I, I I say he was walling him out, but apparently T was setting up the wall of pain right there because, you know, Richter had no choice but to eat all those bears. Yeah, and that's just one unfortunate thing about Richter's recovery, you know. He, he does have that tether with his chain, but if he's too far off stage, then he's really just stuck. All he could do was try to jump and then T caught his jump with a bear and then he's gone. Well, you know what, I like what Nitro's doing. He's definitely kind of like caught up in percent. And as I say that, he gets like comboed. But you know what, I still think that like in neutral, as long as he doesn't get like super cheesed out like that again, like he can definitely make this thing back. Oh, absolutely. All right, great. Now tilt, I think that move is. All right. Blocking the strawberry. Oh my god, just barely missing that up air, and that up air definitely would have killed. But that's that kind of the unfortunate thing about the up air is that it's a really tall hitbox, but it's also super skinny too. Yeah, one thing I'm also noticing is that, whoa, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hitbox. One thing that I'm noticing is that T whiffs like a few pac man drafts, but Nitro isn't there in time to punish it. Even though it does have a bit of end lag, so not as much as Smash Force. You know, he tried going for the bell, but unfortunately, the axe will cover the recovery. You know? I think that was a re-grab, right? That's it, was, it was definitely a re-grab, but I feel like the axe would have hit regardless, just because it was below stage. All right, this time, he's get, getting pressured up to the ledge. To sort of make his way back. I love the way he uses Fire Hydrant to sort of just mark his ground and push forward on the stage. It's sort of like, because it literally pushes the opponent's back with its water. You know, gets a grab, but unfortunately not going to be able to capitalize because he just mashes like a madman right there. His mash is so good. Dude, I heard that mash all the way from over here. Like, that's an insane amount of mashing right there. Forward smash. This could be Nitro's chance to get a stock lead, but the fire hydrant just ruins his uppercut. Respect the bell. You know what? Oh, oh my god, he knew he was going to be sent at that angle, and you know, he tried going for the upper, but unfortunately he's just not going to time it up right. Once again, a high recovery. Nitro, he does read the air dodge. Once again, using that pellet to go real high outside of the range of projectiles. And, you know, like I was saying, like Nitro was gonna make this back and like that. You know, he lost the stock super early, but you know what? He's already kind of made it back. And is that gonna be death? No, not quite. But you know what? He's in a very, very precarious situation right now. This second stock is just so even. Apple won't kill this time. Two no. bears in a row. Third time's the charm. Yeah. Two forwards so will send that fire hydrant back at T. You know, the bear, not gonna be quite enough, but you know, both players at super high percent, you know, anything will kill at this point. They are, wow, when Pac-Man there almost killed. Like, that's that's when you know you're at a high percent. I am surprised that both of these players are still living. Commentator's curse. I had a feeling that would happen. But I mean, to be fair, both players were at, like, like 180%, so it, somebody was dying soon. Oh, watch out for that holy water. He has to respect it. And again, you know, he's gonna get caught by that bear, but you know, it takes a nice lead. And you know, in a zoner matchup like this, no, any percent lead is golden. But one Galaga combo is all T needs to bring it back. We're just like a, a few straight aerials. And I love that using the bear to kind of like pressure the hydrant all the way up to T on the platform over there. Door there. Don't get anything else off of it. Nitro Porter is back in turn. Again, Cross coming back to hit T, but you know what? Still managed to get a combo, and you no, know, he read the tech roll in, but Nitro goes away instead, and just like that, you know, Nitro brings it back to even. No, bears the axe instead, and oh my god, he didn't believe. He didn't believe that down air would hit. If he had DI'd in on that down air, he would have gotten enough B, and that would have been dead. That would have been game two. I hope that doesn't get into Nitro's head. He still has a very small lead, and one one good smash attack, if he times it right, one good water confirm, maybe that could be what he needs. Bell confirms, on the other hand, you have to respect that from Pac-Man. Can he make it back? No, no he cannot. Oh my god. And you saw that, like, 
T threw out the cherry, knowing that like, okay, if he double jump, cherry's gonna hit him, and he's gonna be dead. Because, you know what, the up is not gonna be enough to make it back. I'm surprised he up beat instead of trying to tether. But yeah, maybe maybe he just felt like he was too far, didn't want to commit to it. Right. Like, I can understand oh, going for that up beat oh, if, oh. you know, T was at like, Way why are you going is. DK in this matchup? Um, why would you ever go DK in this matchup? This is the, you're up 2-0, so might as well do whatever you want to kind of I mean, hey, Nitro hate the free game. Just, I mean, this is just one of those matchups where, like, DK does not get to play his game. Yeah, Richter against heavyweights can easily just wall them out, especially since, you know, Donkey Kong doesn't have a projectile. What, what are you supposed to do? He just takes one, over 100%, get hit by Axe. You only have one way to recover. I mean, it's not even that. It's just like, how do you approach in the matchup? And the answer is, you know, not really. You gotta have to hope that, you know, the Richter throws out a really bad aerial and neutral. Or, or an uppercut. Okay, back air. T is stuck off stage. Great use of a back air to prevent himself from dying from that axe. But this one might do it. No, it clinks with the uh, up special. I mean, I guess that's the interesting thing about DK is that DK's gonna live for a oh. long percent, and you know what? That percent is long enough to find the kill. That is the. I don't think that confirmed is the good issue. I believe you're able to check the. The down scout, right? I mean, if you're getting hit by that, like, you're getting hit by the other guys afterwards. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, and suddenly, oh, no. suddenly, T has turned this game around. Oh, I love I love that early up to avoid the back air. You know, if you had, if you had just uh, tried tethering back to stage, he would have been dead. Unfortunately, still living. And now Nitro has the opportunity to rack up some more percent, wall out. Uh, Donkey Kong with the projectiles on that disjointed tether, or that disjointed chain, rather. I mean, this is one of those matchups where, like, you basically never want to throw axe. Honestly, because the second you throw axe, is the second that DK is like, oh, I found my way in because you threw axe in space. Well, axe when DK is off stage is a. I mean, when he's off stage, but, like, in, in neutral, like, when you're just, like, trying to find the way in, like, axe is, like, a free ticket in. Absolutely. And like, I'm noticing G keeps on throwing out moves to contest with the Axe, so maybe maybe it's not as good as we thought, or as we thought, actually. But that Argo Ward, though, will just throw Nitro away. I can't tell whether he just didn't DI it right, or if he simply didn't have the tools I mean, to cover there. I mean, the problem with that is that he, he air dodged in, and when you air dodge, you move a little bit to the opposite direction of your air dodge. So he air dodged into the blast mode, that's how he died. Oh, I see. Well, last dog situation, this is Nitro, pretty much Nitro's last chance to stay in the tournament. And I don't think he wants to lose to the random Donkey Kong counterpart. All right, near into fair, good damage. Holy water into Oh my smash. gosh, no. that was such good mash, you know? And that's the way if you ever, ever get hit by. No, no, that's it. Is it it? That's it. You're right, he didn't have his jump and there was nothing he could do. So T will take it 3 0, knock out one of SoCal's remaining players in this bracket. All right. And as I was saying earlier, you know, if you ever get hit by Holy Water, DI up. DI hard up because 